A probe into the city's retail cannabis permitting process found no evidence that it was tilted to disadvantage applicants vying for the highly coveted right to operate in the area, according to city documents obtained this week. But it also suggested that the city's planning department could have better communicated with businesses over a key requirement that fueled allegations of unfairness. At the core of the probe was whether city planning officials were influenced by a representative for one of the applicants to tweak city permitting requirements to delay others who were vying for the same precious few permits, which are worth millions to whoever gets one. In particular, it centered on allegations that city staffers were swayed by an attorney working for Integral Associates Dana LLC, an applicant for a marijuana dispensary, adding a last-minute requirement that all applicants for a permit hire a surveyor. Those allegations have been denied. Such surveyors would show proof that cannabis dispensaries are adequately distant from other sensitive use properties such as schools, substance abuse centers and places of worship. Critics of the process claim that Integral, through communications between its attorney, Pasadena-based Richard McDonald and city staff, had a head start on meeting the requirement. That created an unfair playing field that could have swung the process toward Integral, and delayed, and even jeopardized, the chance for five other applicants to get the location they wanted and a permit to operate, according to allegations. But the probe, conducted by the firm Shepard Kim and Harris LLP and led by Richard Druyan, a former assistant United States attorney in the criminal division of the United States Attorney's Office in Los Angeles, found that the integral attorney, McDonald, did not communicate or influence city staffers in adding the requirement. We did not find any evidence that Mr. McDonald communicated with the planning department about requiring a licensed surveyor or influenced the planning department's decision to add the requirement, according to the heavily redacted, 22-page memorandum presented to the city attorney's office. The investigation itself was done in October 2019 at a cost of $88,432. The memorandum is dated October 7, 2019, and was released after several attempts to make it public, including requests from this newspaper, the city council and the public. City officials kept it sealed, citing allegations of wrongdoing made against specific employees, not merely allegations against the process. City officials on Thursday defended that process while echoing the firm's conclusion. Since the complaint accused specific city employees of wrongdoing, their rights as employees were implicated, city spokesperson Lisa Derderian said in a written statement. In the end, the investigation found no wrongdoing. Any public process is fair game for scrutiny, and a vigilant public helps ensure a better process.